Welcome to our demonstration on Margin Master. Margin Master will help you maximize your profitability on every item sold without slowing down or losing the sale. It will help you maintain the right price image for your market. It will allow you to set rules for rounding off prices in ways that maximize your profitability on every item sold without losing sales. It will allow you to review numerous what-if scenarios without committing to actually making the changes until you want them made. You can set and save retail pricing strategies for a variety of different product breakdowns, and you'll be able to see at a glance where the gross profit dollars in your company are coming from. First, let's discuss what is a pricing strategy. When people discuss pricing strategy, they often have varying levels of understanding as to what a pricing strategy is. Margin Master forces you to think about your pricing strategy in a new way. Therefore, it is important that we have a solid understanding of what a pricing strategy is and how it is used in Margin Master. In Margin Master, a pricing strategy is a clearly defined set of rules that define a retail price for every single item in your organization. These rules are created and maintained in Margin Master so the program can help you effectively control your pricing over time. An effective pricing strategy takes into consideration your customer base, your local market, and your local competition. The ultimate goal of a good pricing strategy is to create a pricing image that will allow you to service the customer and survive and thrive in your local market. Due to market variations, a pricing strategy will be different for every organization. Now we'll take a look at the Margin Master screen. First, you'll see all of the different selections that are available to pull up a series of SKUs. You can pull them up in basic selections by class or department or product group or vendors. You can pull it up by price selection or other criteria. Margin Master also allows you to look at one-click statistics, which will give you a quick snapshot of where your store stands right now. Margin Master has already downloaded all of the information from your point of sale system. Right now we're looking at a snapshot of where we stand before making any changes. We can see that where we are today is a mean level of 231. This is just an indicator that tells us that we are greater than suggested retail, but not quite to level one retail. The profit analyzer shows us where our margin dollars are coming from currently. It shows us by pricing strategy, in other words, sensitivity codes, as well as by what the retail prices are in the store now. When we look at the total column, we see that over 25% of our profitability is coming from items less than $4.99. Another 27 or almost 28 percent is coming from items that are more than five dollars but less than 9.99. This shows us that over 50 percent of the margin in our store comes from items less than ten dollars. Whether you are a single store or have several stores, Margin Master gives you the ability to easily create and maintain one pricing strategy that covers every SKU in every store. And better yet, you can execute your entire strategy with a click of a button. Once your pricing strategy is developed, you will save time and increase accuracy in your pricing. Executing your pricing strategy month after month allows you to implement the same pricing rules time after time. This way, the only price changes you have each month are the items that no longer meet the rules that you have set for them. Margin Master easily identifies those items and you can either correct those items or create a new rule to your pricing strategy that covers those items. Now we will begin creating a pricing strategy. The key to creating a successful pricing strategy is to work with the top-down principle. Basically, the initial step on your pricing strategy should cover every SKU in your organization, whether your organization consists of one store or 20 stores. After that initial step, you continue to create smaller steps until you work your way down to that SKU level exception. For example, let's say you have three stores and that all are priced the same and you want to create a pricing strategy for all three stores to be at suggested retail. This first step needs to cover every item in all three stores. So, step one should be take everything in all three stores and set it to suggested retail.
Our first selection will allow us to see all of the items currently in our store that are below suggested retail. Based on our selected criteria, Margin Master returns a list of all of the SKUs in your store that are not currently at suggested retail. We can see two price columns in Margin Master. The yellow current price column is our current retails pulled from our point of sale system. Right now the future price column in green shows zero because we haven't done anything to future pricing. But now we'll ask Margin Master to show us what the results would be if all of these SKUs that are less than suggested retail suddenly become suggested retail. In the future price area, we set the future price to be at suggested retail and see what happens. Margin Master now calculates what this change would mean to our annual margin dollars. If we look at our last 12 months sales history and we sell in the next 12 months what we sold in the last 12 months, we'll make almost $18,000 more in margin dollars by making this change. Another way to look at this is based on inventory value. If we were to look at our total inventory on these items right now and sell them at the new price, we'll make over $11,000 in additional margin. Once you have a strategy that you want to save, click on the camera icon in the bottom right hand corner to name and save the strategy. Now we'll create a second strategy looking at items that are blind or non-competitive that retail for less than five dollars. Once again, Margin Master displays all of the items in the store that are currently priced less than $5 at retail that are considered to be blind or non-competitive. These items already have the future price populated. That's because the first strategy we created also affected some of these items. Because these blind and non-competitive items have more opportunity for margin, we'll change the future price to level 1. We'll also look at a rounding strategy. Margin Master comes populated with several rounding strategies. You can also adjust these or create any rounding strategy you wish. For this strategy, we'll choose the AF2 rounding scheme, which is the most aggressive rounding scheme we have. Right now, by applying level 1 pricing to these items that are less than $5 and either blind or non-competitive, we've already been able to find another $9,400 in annual margin dollars. Watch how applying the rounding scheme changes that figure. After applying the rounding scheme, we see that the margin dollars went from $9,408 up to $11,149. Once again, we'll save the strategy. Margin Master also allows us to build a SKU level strategy. While we're reviewing this list, if we see an item that doesn't quite fit or we don't believe that margin change is applicable, you can click on the SKU and set a SKU level strategy. When you click on the SKU, Margin Master brings up all of the monthly sales data for that SKU as well as the current retail and the suggested retail. Click on Add to add a SKU level strategy. 
Here you can create a plugged retail or a plugged margin. We recommend you use the plugged margin. We can enter a new margin for this SKU and Margin Master will show us what the new rounded retail price will be. Once we're comfortable with our new SKU level strategy, we can hit Done. We can review the strategies we've created so far by clicking on Manage Pricing Strategy. The Pricing Strategy Manager shows us our strategies and the order that they will take place. First, we want everything that's below suggested retail to come up to suggested retail. Next, we want all of our blind and non-competitive items that are less than $5 to come up to Level 1 and rounded to AF2. Lastly, we have one SKU level exception that we created. To see how things have changed so far, let's take another look at our one-click profit analyzer. We can see that based on the changes we've made so far, our future sitting margin will be 43.81% compared to our current sitting margin of 41.26%. So what is the competition doing? Margin Master works closely with a company called RivalWatch who can provide you with Home Depot and Lowe's pricing data on select items in your marketplace. By incorporating those items within Margin Master, you can look at strategies based on Home Depot and Lowe's pricing. After incorporating our Rival Watch data, we can look for items in our store that are currently priced less than Home Depot. Margin Master has found that there are 396 items that are currently priced less than Home Depot. In the Future Price area, we can click on Future Price is equal to Home Depot price. So that now, anything that is priced less than Home Depot is at least at Home Depot's pricing. Once again, we'll save this strategy. Even though that was the last strategy we created, we may decide that we want that to be the first strategy that Margin Master looks at when executing all of the pricing strategies. Once we're in our Manage Pricing Strategy menu, we can move up this strategy so that it is the first one Margin Master executes when it's executing all of the pricing strategies. Aside from the steps we've just created, you are also able to implement store-specific steps to your pricing strategy. You can focus on a specific department, merchandise class, or product group. You can also implement rounding. All of the tools available to you in Margin Master to assist you in pricing are still available to you when creating your pricing strategy. Initially, your pricing strategy may consist of only a few steps. As time goes on and you are better able to determine your market-specific pricing needs, you may need to add steps to your pricing strategy or make changes to your pricing strategy. Once you've decided on your strategies, for maintenance purposes, whenever you decide to review your pricing, generally on a weekly basis, you'll update pricing from your supplier or co-op through Margin Master, then you'll execute the Margin Master pricing strategies. Margin Master will compare the suggested retails from your co-op and compare it to your strategies that you have in place and come up with the recommended pricing changes that you need to make.
now that you've executed all of your pricing strategies, a list of the suggested price changes will come back up. You can review this list and make any changes to those that you don't feel are necessary. Once you're satisfied with the list, you can export it back to your point of sale system and your price changes for that week have been made. Thank you for watching this demo on Margin Master. To see a Margin Master demo using your own store's data, please call us at 989-896-8000. Any of our support staff would be glad to help you. For more information, please visit www.retailersoft.com.